Hi everyone and welcome back or welcome if you are new to the week's nest. In today's video, I have some Dollar Tree DIY decor ideas for you. These are going to be modern farmhouse, boho, high-end looking decor, which is inspired by anthropology and West Elm to get that high-end home decor look using Dollar Tree items. Also, today's video is a collab with Liana over at Terrarium and Crafts. I will have her channel down in the description box below. Be sure to go check out her channel. Once you are done watching this video, she does lots of great and creative Dollar Tree DIYs, budget decor. So be sure to check out her channel. Let her know that I sent you. And if you're stopping by from Liana's channel, hello and welcome, and let's get into today's video. So the first Dollar Tree DIY is going to be inspired by this West Elm doormat. And not only am I gonna show you a cool West Elm inspired Dollar Tree DIY, but I'm gonna show you a really cool and budget friendly decor hack. So taking this Dollar Tree outdoor doormat and taking some 12 by 12 cardstock or scrapbook paper, I am going to show you how to turn this into a stencil that you can actually reuse. So the West Elm inspired piece had kind of like, not a full chevron. So this is inspired. I wanted this to be kind of like a chevron or just kind of a half triangle, whatever you want to call it. So basically I used black cardstock. So I made sure that I used a silver Dollar Tree metallic pen so that you can see. And I used a ruler so that the lines were straight. I didn't measure out really the spacing. I'm fine with like a not super perfect look, but if you're a super perfectionist, then you can measure it. And you wanna use cardstock because that is what's going to give this faux stencil some stability. So taking some scissors, I suggest that you use smaller scissors only because it's easier to get into the design that you're gonna cut out for the stencil. You just kind of poke a hole on the inside of the design that we drew here or whatever you're using as your stencil and you just make your cut. It's gonna look like this, you do this for everything. And this is such a great budget-friendly decor hack to get a stencil using a piece of cardstock. So I went ahead and cut out all six and that is what I'm gonna use for this Dollar Tree West Elm inspired doormat. So I'm gonna go in with some Rust-Oleum metallic finish chalk paint. This holds up fine outside. I'm using this on my deck, which is like partially covered where I'm putting this. And I just took some Dollar Tree masking tape just to make sure that the stencil is in place. And that is it. I just did one kind of thin coat of the spray paint. And I did this on either side and then to cover the top. And this is just such a cool way to get a stenciled look that you can use with spray paint or whatever paint you're using, using a piece of cardstock. And I wanted to add, I lost the footage somehow of this, but I ended up adding some basic tassels, which I've made a lot. I could put down in the description box below if you're interested to see how I make them. I just added some simple tassels to each corner of this doormat. And there you have it. This is just so boho farmhouse, like the look I love. You can layer this on a larger um, mat that you have. This is great for indoor or outdoor. It's just a fun, really simple West Elm inspired piece using a Dollar Tree doormat. And I'm really happy with the way that this turned out. For our next Dollar Tree DIY, we're going to do a anthropology inspired decor piece and we're gonna do some simple macrame. So taking some of this cotton craft cord, I picked this because I had it actually already on hand. It's from Hobby Lobby and it's very similar to the inspiration piece from Anthropology. And I compared it here to some of the new Dollar Tree cotton kind of thicker nautical rope. It's comparable, it's a little bit thinner, but you can certainly use a few packs of the Dollar Tree nautical rope instead if that is what you want. So I went ahead and I cut six strands at about 90 inches long and I just folded them in half and put them on this wood ring that I got from Hobby Lobby. I could put it down in the description box below 
and I did a simple gathering knot for the top of this piece. I just did a macrame video using Dollar Tree items. I will have that down in the description box below going over kind of basic knots. But this is a really easy plant hanger. All you're going to do is work with four strands at a time. There will be six strands, so you're going to do some square knots, and I did three square knots on the top. I went down about, I would say three and a half, four inches from that gathering knot, and I'm doing the first square knot here in kind of real time so you can see how easy it is. But all this plant hanger is, is a row going around of three square knots, about three and a half to four, I would say four inches down from the gathering knot. And once you have those three, you're going to continue another set of square knots about three and a half, four inches down from the first row of your square knots. So there you have it for the first set of square knots. Now again, going down about three and a half, four inches, you're going to complete three more square knots working with the four strands of this cotton cord. Um, let me know down in the description box below if your Dollar Trees get that new like cotton nautical rope. I only was able to find one at my Dollar Tree, but I definitely want to go back and get some more. So once you have the second set of square knots, you are just going to connect the square knots you just did with taking two strands from the one square knot, two strands from the next, and you connect them with another square knot. I'm going through this a little bit fast because I did a way more detailed macrame beginner friendly um, project video recently. So I will have that down below and I just gathered everything with another simple gathering knot. Now what gives this really that anthropology inspired look is the original piece had these really simple tassels. So I made three tassels using some white yarn I had on hand and I just connected them to the square knots on the second row just by looping the yarn through, tying a knot, and then trimming it. Super simple, and I love the way that the white tassels look against this kind of like deep mustardy, if we wanna call it, <laughs> um, rope. And then I just trimmed everything, and there you have it. This cotton cord cost was $5.99. I had a 40% off coupon at Hobby Lobby. I had the yarn on hand and this took me all of like 10 minutes. So a super simple way that you can also use the Dollar Tree nautical rope or whatever you have on hand to get an anthropology, really sleek, modern farmhouse, boho farmhouse, whatever you wanna call it, piece of room decor that gives you kind of some fun texture, which you know I love, and you get that anthropology inspired look for way less. For our next Dollar Tree DIY, every time I'm on the Anthropology website, I just love how all of the throw pillows always have a lot of texture and a nice statement. So we are going to make our own kind of Anthropology inspired pillow using some yarn and some Dollar Tree dish towels. I wanted more of like a rectangle lumbar shaped pillow. So I took two of these black dish towels from Dollar Tree. I chose black because I thought it would be a nice contrast with the white yarn. And I did a simple running stitch on the bottom. Um, you can do anything that you want. I just like a simple running stitch, nice and easy. And then I also decided to do some running stitches making an X, which you will see in a second. I have a ton of yarn in my craft stash, but I've also noticed that Dollar Tree now, a lot of them are selling more yarn. So that's definitely exciting if you want to incorporate it in some of your DIY projects. So like I said, I did some simple running stitch X's above the initial running stitch, and I chose to do like a mustard color. I've been really kind of feeling that. 
great for summer and it also is a great color to transition once the summer is like towards an end and we're thinking fall decor. So I did some basic running stitch, white X's on top, and then I'm taking some of this Dollar Tree jute and I did a diamond in the middle. Not a perfect diamond, I'm not gonna leave it as is. I just wanted the diamond shape so I knew how to fill in my pom-poms. I have made a ton of pom-poms on my channel, so I use a pom-pom maker, super easy. I will have that down below if you want a more detailed tutorial on that. But before I add the pom-poms, I just put the pillow inside out. I took some hot glue, some nice just like heavy duty or fabric hot glue is fine. And then I made sure that I hot glued all around, leaving a small piece that's open so you could flip the pillow back inside out and stuff it. Like I said, I will have a detailed tutorial linked down below in case you're interested in that. For the pom-poms, I just took four and some hot glue. Carefully hot glue these down. I actually ended up burning myself like pretty bad. So just do that carefully. And then I took some polyfill that I had. You can also use the stuffing from an old pillow. Filled this pillow up, sealed it with some hot glue, and there you have it. This definitely has that boho anthropology inspired kind of fun look. Just working with like a simple black background, some nice um, pattern stitching, and the texture of the pom-poms. I just think this is so fun and it is such an easy way to just kind of add some texture and boho flair to your home decor. Our last Dollar Tree DIY is using two of these Sun DIY wood frames. Um, I'm not going to do much to these. I'm just going to show you a way you could style them. So I went ahead and just took out kind of the stock picture that's in there. And then I ended up painting these with Waverly's Antique Wax. But what I did was I like using the Antique Wax with a paintbrush that I've been using already for another project. So if you look closely, this has like a teal color on it. I used this brush. I was filming a whole bunch of DIYs this day. And if you're looking at this kind of going, why do you have teal on this? I notice when you mix the Waverly Antique Wax with any type of paint color, whether it be this teal color, white, it gives it a little bit more of like a muddied, weathered wood look when it dries. And that was what I was going for. So when it dries, you really don't see much of the teal, but if you've used Waverly Antique Wax, you know it's much darker. So see how this kind of gives like that kind of weathered look. I just love this the way that it dried and I'm gonna show you a simple way to style these, not as the Dollar Tree has them as wood frames. So these look really cute and give a boho look to candlesticks. You could put it on the top like this and then put a candle on top of that just to kind of give the candlestick a different look. You can also put them on the bottom of a candlestick. And I just love this. I really loved these wood frames from Dollar Tree. I just didn't really know what I wanted to do with them. So giving them kind of a weathered paint look, adding them to some neutral kind of modern farmhouse candlesticks, it really just kind of elevates them and gives them more of a high-end, just fun boho look without really having to do much to them. So I just wanted to add this just so in case you have these in your craft stash from Dollar Tree, you didn't know what to do with them or you didn't want to use them as wood frames, this is a great, really easy option to style them. So as always, I hope you enjoyed these DIYs. I hope they gave you some inspiration for your home on a budget. I love doing Dollar Tree DIYs where you can get like a high-end store look like West Elm or Anthropology, and recreate and get an inspired look on a budget and for half the price. So I hope you enjoyed these. Let me know which of these projects was your favorite. Also make sure if you are subscribed to turn on that notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to stop by Liana's channel, Terrarium and Crafts, that I will have down in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you are all doing well, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Yeah.